Hey guys, today's on schizophrenia and auditory hallucinations versus mind reading. Mind reading versus auditory hallucinations. But before we get to this, please allow my brief prelude. As you know, I've conveniently recorded it for our mutual covered, our mutual convenience, and our mutual luxury. And I've been around a few preludes in my years, and I'm telling you, this kid, this prelude, it's got something that's particularly luxurious. Kind of like uh, arts and crafts. <laughs> Hello there, my name is Robert Francis. You've stumbled on my Unconquering Schizophrenia YouTube channel. Where me and the bird... That's right, that's right. We talk schizophrenia. Mike the Wren, Michael Wren. This is the cut of my jib right here for reasons of my medical confidentiality. I'm a licensed clinical social worker times 15 years. That's a lot of gabbing and chatting. Yeah. I've been diagnosed with schizophrenia for a score 5 and 1. And that puts a little gray fleck in my beard. Indeed it does. Thank you for joining me on my channel. Now to topic, to topic, to topic. To topic. To topic. There is a slight distinction between mind reading, the delusion of mind reading, and auditory hallucinations. Auditory hallucinations, they're both positive symptoms. Auditory hallucinations for me are heard uh, voices from the external environment. It sounds like somebody's shouting at me from the corner or from the external environment. For me, mind reading is the ability of uh, having internal dialogue with others mind to mind um, in a two-way communication. Auditory hallucinations for me are one way where I hear the voice, but I, I can't respond to the voice in dialogue. Mind reading alternatively is believing that I can dialogue mind to mind with other people back and forth in a two-way direction. So auditory hallucinations for me are one way Mind reading is two-way. Both are symptoms. Uh, one is uh, categorized as a hallucination, and the other is categorized as delusion, that being mind reading. Um, and so there is a slight distinction between the two. Both are positive symptoms, and uh, both are fun, aren't they? We love them. We love them, don't we? We love them both. Like arts and crafts? Like arts and crafts? All right. Give me some crayons. Give me some uh, construction paper. I'm going to make a uh, puppet. All right, guys. We'll see you next time. Thanks.